This is Hordo Bina from Devil's Digest. We're over here with offensive lineman Jamil Douglas after Tuesday's practice. And Jamil, coach, always preaches to be even keel whether you win or lose. Mm -hmm. Does that make it easy to keep uh, to put Saturday? I'm sorry, behind you. Um, at the, I mean, it, it was it's hard at first because you know that's a game that we should have won. We understand that we, we were the better team, but at the same time, you know we have a, a, a greater focus in winning the Pac-12. So it, it, it was it was hard at first, but now we're moving on from it. When you looked at the game film against Notre Dame, what do you think were some of the breakdowns the offensive line as a group had? Um, I just think just technique stuff. I mean, um, we, we know our assignments. It was just, you know, alignment type things, guys missing, you know, wrong, wrong footsteps, stuff like that. But, but overall, I think we did a, a pretty good job. Um, at the same time, we can't take, I think we took three or four sacks on the offensive line. So I think, I think we have to improve in that area. Is it kind of... Uh, frustrating that you guys, you know, had a low against Stanford, played so well against USC, and against Notre Dame was another tough outing. Is that is that frustrating being part of the group and just seeing that big roller coaster? Definitely, because you know during the USC game we showed how great we of an offensive line we can be, and um, you know we showed that we've improved and we're improving every week. I think as a group, but you know we have, we just have to be consistent. We have to find that line and play at that high level all the time. I mean, do, do you feel? I mean, some people feel that you know that. If ASU is presented with a more, you know, physical defensive line, or, you know, on the other side of the ball, um, you know, higher caliber of opponent, that this offensive line can have issues. Uh, I mean, is that something that, I mean, you take exception with, or maybe there's some validity to it? No, uh, no, not at all. I mean, we we can hang with the the most physical defensive line, whoever they put in front of us. We can hang with them. We know we we can get pushed off the ball. We can do whatever we want to do. We just have to come out with the right mindset to get it done, and things will happen for us. So you look at the game against Colorado, uh, um, ASU's favorite, I think 25 points by now or something. A lot of people could just call it like, you know, maybe like a, a no-win a no -win situation, maybe right. not too different than Sacramento State was, but how do you approach this game, especially coming after a loss? Um, we got to come out and play our perfect game. You know, no matter who, who the opponent is, we have to start getting consistent in what we're doing. And, uh, you know, we don't, we don't care about the point spread. That's just, you know, that, that's not for us. We have to come out and play a great game. And, you know, they're, they're a college football team, too, so anyone can beat anyone on any given Saturday. So we have to come out and play a good game. Talk about Colorado's defensive line. What kind of challenges do they present? I mean, what kind of team do they remind you that you played earlier this um, year? They're a little bit, they're a little bit like uh, USC in, in some ways. Um, very, very good twitch guys, you know, have, have quick guys, edge rushers, uh, big guys in the middle. So, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. If, if we stick to our assignments and, and do everything technique-wise that we're supposed to do, I think we'll do a great job.